Hi everyone. Um, today I have my big shot here because I really want to show you um, how to use the alterations of um, the on the edge of Tim Holtz on the edge dies. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I have um, a couple of um, of my uh, YouTubers subscribers are asking me to do something like this. Now, I know there are um, a few, there are a few videos that are really, really intense on how they use this dies, but um, I'm just going to give you my view and I'm going to just tell you how I would use it as well. Um, these dies are, are rule dies, so that means that um, the reason why are they thick like this is because there are blades there that are very sharp and this is covered with a foam so actually um, this will push the paper and the other reason is to have the foam is to protect your hands so you don't cut them and it has a caution attention all of these dies have a caution attention um, message here that if if you press really hard by any chance or you take this off you can cut your hands so you get a you know you gotta be aware of that but actually if, if you have it like this and you touch it and even if you press it a little bit nothing is gonna happen um, these dies are are very fun to use um, so I'm gonna show you a few ways you can use the dies. Now, for since this is a rule die, you don't need. You're not gonna need if you have a big shot or another. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna work with the big shot, but if you have another cutting machine, cutting die machine, then um, some of them have this multi-purpose platform. You don't need that. So we're going to put that away. And then what you're going to need are the two cutting plates. So for this, you're just going to create a sandwich like this. And then you're going to place the size of paper, whatever is convenient to you. This is just going to be a regular size paper. Uh, I'm going to just for demonstration. Uh, then I'm going to show you what else you can do with it. But I just want you to see how it goes through. If you just want to do an on the edge uh, regular piece of paper. And you take your plates out. And this is how it looks. You take the excess pieces out. And then what I do is that the little piece over here, I just cut this over here. And then all the top, all the top uh, excess paper will go out. And that's how it looks. Now, how, what can you do with this? Well, that's a good question. Um, well, you can't do many things with this. Either you can decorate almost anything just a regular piece of paper or a card or um, you can decorate mini albums you can decorate um, the small ATCs you can decorate anything really anything and and I'm gonna show you like this mini album you, sh you, you saw this mini album recently on a video I did uh, I did use on the edge here's a, here's an example this on the edge die is the um, is one of the team halts on the edge, and I use it in several pages. I think that's one, and then yeah, over here I use it here in this one. So what I did is exactly what you saw right now. I just cut the edge, and then I place it on the mini the way I wanted it. And I ink them, I color them. You, I'm using regular craft paper, but you can use whatever paper you like. That's 
that's not a big deal. The other way I know they use this dies is that um, if you have tags mm -hmm. and you want to embellish your tag with with a uh, with a with that type mm -hmm. of um, of die, you just get a regular tag. We go back to this, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use the um, the pennant. This is the Tim Holtz alteration pennant, and this type of die. I don't know if you, if the camera is gonna catch this, but it has two different two different cuts. Now, the way you use this is that either you use one side or the other, or you can use both. But if you use both, you're going to have both cuts. Um, what I've seen is how they use this is that um, you place your rule die like that, and then you place the tag the way you the way you want to be cut. This is how I do it. Not necessarily this is the way you're going to do it. Sometimes the paper rolls a little bit. So you got to be very careful. Um, the only way, or I think the best way for that not to happen, is that they sell um, these cutting mats in the size of those rule dies. And so that's the, way, that's the best way to use the rule die, with, you know, without the paper rolling away from from the die. There you go. So this is how your tag would look if you know you cut the edge. That's why it's called the edge die. So this is an example. Okay, you can do that with this. Then you have an excess that maybe you can probably use it for something else. I don't know. I I usually use my scrap for different things. Um so that's basically it, guys. If uh, you know the tag, oh, the other way you can use this is if you have you want to do a card. Let me get a, a regular card. Okay, sorry about that. This will be my card, right? Let's see if it fits here, because this card is kind of big. It has to be a smaller one. So what you do, basically, is, again, you take your, on the edge, alteration of your preferences and then this is the steampunk this this die is really neat so what you do is basically again you put your die on the position and then you're gonna place the um, this is a regular cardstock okay so you're just gonna place a cardstock exactly where it has to be so so the die comes out nice you're going to create the sandwich again with your cutting mats and the rule die you pass it through right and then you're gonna have that nice on the edge cut of the die. So these are the possible ways, like I said, to use this die. I take the little excess piece right here. There we go. So now I have, see, a nice card that I can ink, embellish, paint, whatever I want to do with it. 
with that on the edge look whether you can use it this way or you can use it this way so the person that's going to read it is going to have that nice cut there and and it's very it's very very original and then you can create whatever you want on 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 this side and make a beautiful card so basically that's how it works uh, you can do many other things these are the three main I would I would say these are the three main ways on how to use this die uh, I the other way I think I could use this if I cut the little gears and then add them as embellishment as well in your cards you can do that as well you just cut them and and you can use them and embellish anything you want so that's basically it guys um, like I said I made this um, this video for for a few viewers that were interested on on <clears throat> how to use these dies and I have um, <clears throat> one of them was Sharon Hall 5030 Sharon this video is for you and for other people that is interested on in how to do or how to work with this uh, Tim Holtz alterations and uh, if you like what you see please rate, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching goodbye guys